The Rebel GUI dialect that you've seen so far, called vid, is great for building buttons and um, other items that you can click on in programs, um, uh, text fields, that sort of thing, um, images. And that's great for building programs, but to do actual graphics work, to draw lines and circles and boxes, uh, to work with fill colors and uh, gradients and any other, other sort of actual graph of it, graph effects, um, Rebel has a separate uh, dialect called draw. The way you work with draw is um, you create a GUI, you lay out, and in that GUI you put an item. Now you can actually draw on any uh, GUI widget, um, but in most cases what you're going to do is create a box that works as sort of the, uh, uh, the palette that you're going to draw on, um, create a certain size, and what you do is uh, on that box, and this again can be any GUI widget, but on that, that box, for example, uh, you attach an effect object. And in that effect object you have a, a block and the first item in that block uh, is the word draw and then inside a second block you put the actual graphic items that are going to be drawn. In this case a line um, that, that has a, a certain uh, set of pixel locations and I'll draw a line from those pixel locations. And so Pop that into Rebel, and you'll see a line drawn from, from those pixel locations. And so this just puts the default color box, which is 400. Um, this actually does have a, uh, um, a border around it, but because the box is the same color as the border, you don't see that. You see the line drawn on screen. Um, that can get a little confusing, so it's often as, as usual, better to indent those blocks. So you see, you have a, a view layout that goes from here, a GUI that goes from here to here, and then a box with its effect block that goes from here to here, and then a draw block. And inside that draw block, we have some items. So this is actually the same exact thing that we just did, just a little bit easier to see layout. It's the exact same image. And you can put any items that you want inside that um, inside that draw block. In this case, we're going to make the box black. And inside the draw block, now we have a line and a circle. And there are a number of these um, objects that are built in uh, to Rebel that you can use to draw. And so in this case, you see you have now a black box with all of those different items. Uh, you can add color and um, uh, you can add uh, thickness of lines and uh, various little um, parameters to each of these. Using the pen function, you can use color. Uh, you can fill objects using the fill pen function and the thickness can be set with the line width function. We're going to take those same objects that we just created and add some properties to them. So the line uh, is going to be drawn with a red pen. The box is going to be drawn with a white pen. Uh, we'll have a circle and some green fill. And um, in this case, this line is going to have a blue pen, a f orange fill pen, and a line with a five. Pop that into Rebel and you'll see how the code works. And you can also apply other um, other effects. Um, in this case, we're doing a gradient effect. Um, on this draw block, we have a gradient that moves from this color. Colors in Rebel are always uh, tuples, three, um, three numbers, uh, red, green, and blue. And pop that into Rebel, and you'll see this is a box actually that has gradients on each side. And by default, all of the uh, draw elements that you see are um, anti aliased, meaning they're smoothed um, so that you see a smooth line, but you can turn that off 
with uh, this code here. This first circle is anti-aliased, it's smooth, and this line down here, or this circle down here, is not anti-aliased. You can see it's just got rough black edges. Uh, and the way you do that, you see here this first circle is by default um, uh, smooth, and then you use the word anti-alias off, and you can see the second one has the anti-aliasing turned off, smoothing turned off.